Whether you consider their new looks subjectively worse or superficially better, one thing is clear – these stars damaged their careers after changing their famous faces. Honey, can we talk? Once known as the queen of comedy, Joan Rivers had no fear of the surgeon's knife. In fact, the comedian made so many references to her frequent nip and tucks, it could be argued her fondness for plastic surgery made her more famous than her comedy. Done. Well, I would, if I had anything done, I would have discussed it. But no, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> no, I, I would do it if I needed it. But yeah. <laughs> Rivers once commented during an interview that she saw her cosmetic surgeon so often she got every 10th visit free. It was supposed to be a joke, but it seems there was some truth to the remark. According to Rivers' daughter Melissa, there came a time when she felt her mother had surpassed what was appropriate when it came to cosmetic procedures. She actually staged an intervention, telling her mom she felt the time had come when risk outweighs the reward. Joan Rivers passed away in 2014. In an ironic twist of fate, Rivers' vital signs suddenly failed while she was undergoing routine minor throat surgery at a local Manhattan endoscopy clinic. Her family sued the clinic for malpractice and was ultimately awarded an eight-figure settlement in 2016. If something happens and everyone does everything properly, things happen. You live with it. You live with it. It was 100% preventable. As a Playboy model and Hugh Hefner's wife, Crystal Hefner was expected to look a certain way. Unfortunately, many of the procedures she had performed to create this fantasy body eventually took a toll on her health. Her breast implants caused multiple negative symptoms, such as memory loss and fatigue, while a fat transfer surgery almost cost her her life. I've lost over the half of the blood in my entire body that they have to give me emergency blood transfusions. After all her negative experiences with cosmetic alterations, Hefner has since opted for a more natural look, both in real life and on social media. After removing everything fake from her body and deleting all her old photos, she explained to her fans that she now feels more authentic and more like herself. Hefner's initial concerns over losing her former social media following after taking these self-empowering steps have finally been replaced by a new sense of direction. Even though her numbers initially tanked hard after she removed her scantily clad photos, they eventually rebounded. Today, she realizes that while she may no longer have a career as a Playboy pinup, she still has a following, just of a different sort. Actress and singer Ashley Tisdale grew up in the spotlight starring in the popular kids' television show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and as the drama queen Sharpay Evans in the hit Disney Channel original movie High School Musical, Tisdale was subject to intense scrutiny as a teenager. When at the height of her fame she decided to undergo rhinoplasty to correct a deviated septum, many of her fans were critical. Misunderstanding the purpose of the procedure, they were not shy about voicing their opinions about her nose job. Tisdale's decision to have the surgery was due to health-related issues, but she also decided to have a bump on her nose shaved down at the same time. Her initial reaction to having the procedure was that it was not a big deal. But others were not so accepting or kind. Many on social media scrutinized and judged her for her decision, making the actress feel almost ashamed of having the surgery. When asked about her experience with plastic surgery, Tisdale, who was expecting a baby at the time, said she hoped her little girl wouldn't grow up in a world where she would face so much judgment and shame. No stranger to health issues, model and Real Housewives star Yolanda Hadid struggles with an ongoing battle with Lyme disease caused by a tick bite, as well as the unfortunate toxic side effects of cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic injections and implants have been known to cause dangerous, even life-threatening side effects in some patients who receive them. And according to Hadid, she was one of them. We've missed you. I'm still in the same place. It is what it is. I'm not moving from here until I get well. The star once confessed on Instagram that society had conditioned her to believe breast implants, fillers, and Botox were needed to give her a sexy body. Over time, however, she realized the toxic effects of these procedures were slowly killing her. Hadid now believes her health is her most prized possession and warns against making hasty decisions about putting anything foreign into the body. Today, Hadid is healthy and happy. She no longer gets Botox or fillers, and her breast implants have been removed. 
she credits her new, healthier lifestyle to living on her farm in Pennsylvania, where she is focused on healing and well-being, instead of an obsession with societal standards of beauty. If anybody has the right to be confident about their looks, it would be a supermodel, right? Well, at least in the case of Linda Evangelista, that assumption would be wrong. A cool, green-eyed beauty, Evangelista's face and form graced fashion runways and magazine covers throughout the decade of the 1990s. An international sensation, she was celebrated as one of the top supermodels of all time. Then, in 2015, it all came crashing down, and one of the media's most photographed women suddenly disappeared from the world stage. Evangelista became a virtual recluse due to a failed cosmetic procedure known as cool sculpting. Cool sculpting is a fat-reducing procedure many people choose as an alternative to liposuction, although it is considered a spot treatment to reduce fat on specific areas of the body that are usually resistant to dieting. The procedure is not without risk. Unfortunately, after her treatments, Evangelista suffered from a rare side effect called paradoxical adipose hyperplasia, or PAH. She tried everything to fix the hard bumps and bulges the treatments left in the very areas of her body she wanted to correct. But in time, she came to realize the condition was permanent. The outcome of the cool sculpting procedure left Evangelista struggling not only with a disfigured body, but a drastic shift in her self-confidence and dreading the spotlight she once adored. Other models of her day, like Christy Turlington and Christy Brinkley, are still working and even modeling. And up until recently, it was thought Evangelista would never work again. It is to her credit, however, that she appears to have overcome her fears, announcing to the world on Instagram that she has begun a comeback of her own, modeling for the iconic Fendi handbag brand. For a dancer, the ability to be physically active is essential to your livelihood. When unforeseen side effects of her breast augmentation surgery began to impact her ability to work, Glee star Heather Morris began to have second thoughts. Morris complained that her chest was always sore and she was in constant pain. It got so bad, she ultimately decided to have them removed. Fortunately, the removal surgery was successful and Morris continues to be active in both her acting and dancing careers. Today, she works as a dance instructor and stars in the Lifetime original movie Fatal Fandom. Morris has never looked back, and clearly, her decision to return to a more natural look has impacted both her health and her career in a positive fashion. This next celebrity comes with a bit of an asterisk, since Jamie Lee Curtis is a boss who's only gotten better with age, but her efforts to fight aging did hinder her work temporarily. In a 2002 interview with More Magazine, she admitted to having several procedures, including liposuction and Botox, and that she didn't like the results of any of them. She even suffered from a post-op painkiller addiction. But it was surgery on her under-eye bags that actually hurt her ability to make a movie. Curtis had fat taken from underneath her eyes because she was puffy while working on a film. She recalled the cameraman saying, I can't shoot her now. As she put it, I remember being mortified, and yet, you know what? Nobody tells you if you take fat from your body in one place, it comes back in another. All of these bettering experiences are not without risk. And there is this illusion that once you do it, then you'll be fine. And that's just horse shit. I looked worse. Since then, Curtis has been unapologetically herself, including in 2012 when she wrote an essay for the Huffington Post decrying the obsession with anti-aging. Cardi B loves money, and it hurt her to say goodbye to a huge chunk of change while she recovered from liposuction and breast implants. In May 2019, she was forced to cancel several shows to avoid complications after her liposuction. Some critics called her lazy for not working out to get her pre-baby body back. She responded by fuming at them in an Instagram Live video about how her job as an entertainer is a 24-hour one, so she didn't have time to work out. Cardi also noted that she hated canceling shows and losing out on the revenue because she's a quote, Quote, money addict. She also revealed that traveling for her shows caused swelling, especially in her lower extremities, which scared her and took too much of a toll on her body, leading her doctor to warn her to take it easy. I'm feeling good? Yes, my daughter f me up. <laughs> she did. <laughs> 
Courtney Cox hasn't admitted to losing any specific acting work due to her procedures, but she has said she could barely move her face because she had too much filler. The Cougar Town actress confessed to New Beauty in 2017 that her use of fillers was gradual, which made her not notice she'd gone too far until a pal pointed it out. She's since had her fillers dissolved, though she hasn't discounted a more cautious, conservative use of them in the future. As she put it, "...things are going to change. Everything's going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made me look fake. You need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do." She also noted, "...I grew up thinking that appearance was the most important thing. That's kind of sad because it got me in trouble. I was trying so hard to keep up, and I actually made things worse." In 2015, Modern Family actor Reed Ewing wrote an essay for The Huffington Post about his heartbreaking battle with body dysmorphia. He revealed that after moving to Los Angeles, he obsessed over what he perceived to be imperfections. His first plastic surgery came at age 19 when he got cheek implants. He described the experience as incredibly painful, both physically and emotionally. He had to wear a mask for weeks after the procedure, which led to him temporarily fleeing his home to avoid people finding out about the surgery. Ewing claimed that the implants actually made his face appear gaunt because they defined his cheekbones more than his actual cheeks. The second doctor then suggested a chin implant as a correction. He continued to get even more procedures, all in an effort to correct prior procedures gone wrong. He had essentially become addicted to plastic surgery. Ewing hasn't acted much outside of Modern Family in recent years. While he didn't explicitly say in his essay that his surgeries hurt his career, it did hurt his bank account as he revealed that he had to borrow from his parents and grandmother when he was at his most desperate. I wish I could just, you know, um, talk to my younger self and tell him just don't go through with it. You really don't need it. You look fine. Dirty Dancing star Jennifer Grey stood out in the 1980s because of her distinctive, adorable nose. When she went under the knife in 1989, her career shrunk along with her face. It was such a dramatic difference that even close friends didn't recognize her. Grey used the gossip surrounding her new face as an ongoing gag in the 1999 sitcom It's Like You Know, in which she played herself. She told Newsweek of the series, "...I said, let's talk about all the things that people say behind my back. Let's let me say them, you know? Let's have fun with the absurdity that is my life. Every interview I do just becomes anatomy of a nose." Sadly, the show didn't take off, and Grey still regrets the procedure. She told The Mirror in 2012, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was the nose job from hell. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job." After getting her big break in The Big Lebowski, Tara Reid parlayed her success into supporting roles in 1999's American Pie and its sequels, as well as Josie and the Pussycats and Van Wilder. Unfortunately for Reid, when she went under the knife in 2004 for breast implants and liposuction, her career took a hit, and her body in worse shape than it started. She told CBS News, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work." Reed reportedly got her procedures reversed in 2006, but the damage to her career sent her straight to Sharknado. She told People in 2008, "...in my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. I'm scared about getting surgery ever again." Actress Lisa Rinna became virtually unrecognizable after lip fillers gone wrong in the mid-80s. She told The Today Show in 2013, Okay, here's the story. 25 years ago, I had my lips injected right. with silicone. Oh. Saying it was a stupid thing to do in her 20s, she explained that over time, "...they get hard. I mean, it's gross. <laughs> so they are now just whatever that was after they took out as much of the silicone as they could." Many speculated that Rena's puffy pout cost her a lot of work in Hollywood. She's been relegated to small TV roles for the bulk of her career and is now known primarily for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She reportedly got so tired of the scrutiny surrounding her mouth that she went under the knife again in 2016 to shrink her upper lip. She said on her reality show Harry Loves Lisa, "...people really started to define me by my lips. Right. And I got really tired of that, to be honest with you." Mickey Rourke took a break from acting in the early 1990s to pursue a boxing career, and paid a steep price with his once devastatingly handsome face. He underwent a series of plastic surgeries to try to correct the results of his boxing injuries, but the outcome hurt his prospects in Hollywood. He told the Daily Mail, "...most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had five operations on my nose and one on a smashed cheekbone. I had to have cartilage taken from my ear to rebuild my nose and a couple of operations to scrape out the cartilage because the scar tissue wasn't healing properly." Rourke finally got most of the bad work minimized and his career has since picked up, with roles in Sin City, Iron Man 2, The Expendables, and The Wrestler.
Still, Rourke isn't done going under the knife. In October 2017, he posted about yet another nose job to correct prior work, remarking, "'Now I am pretty again.'" A heartthrob on Twin Peaks in the 90s, Lara Flynn Boyle was just as stunning during her tenure on The Practice. However, around the early 2000s, her lips began to look noticeably larger, and her work began to dwindle. That may well be because the brunette beauty has become almost unrecognizable. But Boyle's struggles may actually be a symptom of a larger problem in Hollywood. She told The Mail on Sunday, I know I may be running out of time. There are just not that many roles for older women. On a vanity level, I am not looking forward to aging at all. And for the record, she said that when she was just 32 years old. Once rap's Queen Bee, Lil' Kim went platinum with Hardcore and won a Grammy for her part in Lady Marmalade. Unfortunately, the pint-sized hip-hop powerhouse hasn't had a hit since 2005's Lighters Up. While part of that could certainly be due to the changing nature of the music industry, another part may be due to her drastically different appearance. In 2005, Kim told Hot 97 she got a nose job, then another rhinoplasty after suffering a broken nose at the hands of an abusive ex. To fix your nose too after one point, mm -hmm. right? I, I had fixed it already, and right. then after that, it was broke again. So, I had to so you had to again. go again. But she denied getting any other work done. Experts, however, disagree. Dr. Jennifer Levine, who hasn't treated Lil Kim, told Us Weekly, "It's clear that there has been some skin bleaching. She could have had Botox injections under the jaw for a more chiseled look. And in case it's not obvious, Kim probably had filler injected into her cheeks." Meg Ryan was America's sweetheart, but by 2003, she looked like a different person. That, combined with the ending of her marriage to Dennis Quaid and taking on roles that didn't match her girl-next-door image, damaged her career. Dr. Mark Youssef, a plastic surgeon who hasn't treated Ryan, gave a long list of possible changes to Hollywood life. The most obvious thing that she's had done is some sort of filler or fat transfer to her cheek. The tip of her nose looks more pinched, so it's very possible that she had some sort of rhinoplasty. She's had too much Botox in the forehead. The surgery that most drastically changes the shape of the face is a facelift. It's possible because the shape of her face has changed so much. The media attention didn't help. A source told People, "...all of the tabloid attention really shook her up. She was deeply troubled by it. It contributed to her stepping away from Hollywood." Melanie Griffith's career peaked in 1988 with her Oscar nomination for Working Girl. But unfortunately, she started going under the knife in 1995, according to the Daily Mail, supposedly opting for procedures to her lips and possibly a facelift, which didn't restore her natural beauty. When Porter Magazine asked Griffith if she realized how much her surgeries negatively impacted her star power in Hollywood, she replied, "...no, I didn't realize until people started saying, "'Oh my God, what has she done? I was so hurt. I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of the that this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully, I look more normal now." But the hypercritical hordes of social media users have not been kind. Griffith told Us Weekly in 2012, "...most people are telling me I look horrible. The tweets I get are really nasty." Smiling. In fairness to Heidi Montag, The Hill star had not yet established a huge career when the series ended. But getting 10 plastic surgeries in a single day in 2010, after she'd already done her boobs and nose, didn't extend her 15 minutes of fame. I had um, my nose redone. I had my own fat injected into my cheeks. She also got a brow lift, lipo, scooping out of her back, breast implants, and chin shaving. And she reportedly regrets it all. She said on The Doctors, so I think that I made these decisions too quickly, too. I made it all in one month. I was like, great, let's do it. I right. didn't have a year I, to think and, about and it. Montag and her co-star husband, Spencer Pratt, went broke following all that work. She revealed on The View, "...a majority of the money is gone. There's agents, lawyers, managers, taxes, hair and makeup. It just kind of caught up with us. And it was a lot, and it was really overwhelming." The career of Ashley Simpson ended for a lot of reasons. On a Monday, but she also faced a lot of backlash for her own hypocrisy. In July 2006, Simpson appeared on the cover of Marie Claire singing praises of self-acceptance, saying, quote, "...everyone is made differently, and that's what makes us beautiful and unique. I want girls to look in the mirror and feel confident." It's a great message, except soon after the issue hit newsstands, she was spotted with a brand new nose. Marie Claire editor Joanna Coles revealed that they had received thousands of letters about Simpson not practicing what she preaches and published a note in the magazine saying, "...we're dazed and confused and disappointed by her choice, too." 